Hey, it's Brenda, uh, Terrell Paranormal, here in the lovely, historic, haunted Bryn building in Terrell, Texas. Got a good story to share with you. I spent the night up here a couple nights ago because I had a lot of work to do because I've been playing probably a little bit more than I should. Wanted to get caught up, and I've got a little bit of a wacky sleep schedule where I'll sleep a couple hours, I'll be up a couple hours, sleep a couple hours, you know, yada, yada. And we have had a lot of construction going on in the building. Of course, you know when you've got construction in a haunted location, you're going to have an increase in your paranormal activity. I hadn't been here 10 minutes that night, and I knew it was going to be a crazy night. I'd be hearing noises. Uh, I'm going to describe them as footsteps. I don't know if it was footsteps, but, you know, you'd go into the other room to see what you were hearing, and then you'd hear it two feet behind you, and you'd turn around and nothing was there. But I had brought my cot up, and... Uh, I had just laid down. I hadn't gone to sleep. It was about 3 a.m. The way that our office is set up, we are positioned in the back of farmer's insurance. Uh, and so you can enter directly through the back into our headquarters here at Gerald Paranormal. To do that, you must come through a little gated area that has a courtyard. Uh, it's been wonderfully planted and, and maintained by our lead investigator, Mary Jo. Thank you for that. And then you follow it down and there's the entrance to our actual office. And we have two locks on that door and we have a motion light in the courtyard. We also have a padlock on the gate. So, Outside of business hours, we're locked up. When I'm here by myself, I am very, very diligent about locking doors. Very diligent. I remember looking two or three times to make sure that that door was in the locked position. So I had come in and locked the deadbolt, locked the lower doorknob, which is similar to the doorknobs you see in the household bathroom that you turn it and it's either horizontal or vertical, the, the locking mechanism is. So if you are on the inside, you can turn it and it will unlock itself. But if you're on the outside and you turn it, you're not, you can't unlock it unless you have a key. <clears throat> 3 a.m., somebody turns the doorknob. I heard it. I was laying right by it. I was laying 10 foot from it. Open my eyes. Courtyard light is not on. The gate is securely locked. There is no one in the courtyard. The deadbolt is still locked but we no longer had that lock in a locked position. I, I can't explain it. I heard the doorknob, the door was unlocked. That could have only come from the inside. Uh, somebody would have had to have turned it from the inside. So there's my latest adventure here. I never get tired of this building, never get tired of this community, this town. This weekend, we're having a health fair before we have the Terrell Ghost Walk at eight. It is uh, Saturday, February 4th from three to six. It's free. We're gonna be doing some just general health screenings as well, Carter Blood Care will be here. If you donate blood, I'm going to give you a free ghost tour ticket, and I'm going to give you a swag bag full of goodies from the wonderful business owners here on Moore Avenue. And we also have another company that we're starting to work with, another charity that we're working with called Be The Match. 
And I think this is probably going to be a long-term relationship between us and this organization. They're doing amazing things. They are a bone marrow registry program. And they benefit people that have blood cancers. And I've heard some pretty amazing stories. You never know if you might be the match for that 12-year-old child who has leukemia. So you know, you don't have to commit to anything if you just want to come out, pick up some information. We're all getting trained and we're learning more about it and we're very moved by the program. So just come out and learn more if you like. And then we'll see you for the Ghost Walk at 8. So, all right, guys, I'm going to sign off. As always, it is a spectacular day to talk to those on the other side.